What is she trying to prove? Obviously, she's not in the club and appears to be very, very desperate. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Pokeos and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Model Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you do everything I told you to do at the beginning of this video. Follow me on all these platform lists here. The spelling up there to that is okay. I know it's not the correct spelling, but that's the only way I can get it on Rumble. So just letting y'all know that. Anyway, oh yeah, y'all know that brown woman, Nikki Haley, is still sticking around. And I think she's going to look pretty, pretty bad losing in her own state which we've always stated and always have stated right from the beginning, but apparently she feels like she's going to be able to go in there and do something different. And I know this is going to be one of those deals where people are just feeling like, and she's going to seem like she's just doing this just to show women how strong she is. And then all the desperation she had to do and fight for as a woman who faced racism and all that. And so she just ended to fight all the way through, but making a killing on probably a lot of y'all donations and everything like that. So anyway, no, but seriously, I don't know why, no, I don't know why she's hanging around. Like, I don't know why. Like, I would be the person that want to ask her, why are you still in this? Because I feel like I have a chance. I know, no, you think that Donald Trump is going to be indicted. You think that Donald Trump is going to be indicted to the extent where he's going to serve jail time. You're going to be the running mate to go against Joe Biden or Michelle Obama or Gavin Newsom. <laughs> no, but anyway, yeah, so... Before I uh, show you guys this clip, hit that like button right now if y'all don't mind, all right? Y'all did it? Y'all do it yet? Did y'all do it? Okay, cool. Now check this out. Tomorrow is the long-awaited South Carolina Republican primary. That's why we're here in South Carolina. Of course, it is Donald Trump versus Nikki Haley. Trump has had several surrogates campaigning for him all across the state. And one of them joins us now, South Carolina senator and former presidential candidate, Tim Scott. Tim, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, so, Senator, just set the overview for us. We've been waiting for a long time for this primary in South Carolina. Yeah. There were many. Now there are two. But there's also a very big lead for Donald Trump in this state. Give us the context of this race happening tomorrow night. Well, it's an important race because South Carolina, we choose presidents. Republican voters tomorrow will choose the Republican nominee, and the rest of the country, are, they're sitting there watching to make sure that we finish our task and send this race, not to Super Tuesday, but to fight against Joe Biden, to fight for the future of America. What we need now is to be very clear. Any other day after tomorrow, talking about Republican primaries, is a day wasted not talking about Joe Biden. If you want low unemployment, you want low inflation, you want low crime, it's time to re recognize we were better off under Trump. And so the good news tomorrow, Republican primary voters will decide by a margin of over 20 points, Donald Trump should be the next president of the United States. And guys, here's one of the most important indicators the Trump, the, the Trump campaign off and running, the Haley campaign now sending out direct mail pieces, asking Democrats and independents to vote in the Republican primary. That is a sign of desperation, but that is what's getting into the mailboxes here in South Carolina. So is, is that the number? Is, is that what the campaign thinks uh, you guys might, or rather Donald Trump might beat her by only 20? Because, you know, the polls make it look like it's a much bigger number. Well, the way I look at it is you always go low when you're making predictions, so you're overshooting when the results come That's in. smart. So I'm never going to say the 33-point lead that he currently has. I, right. I know one thing for sure. 
he's going to win by double digits. I can guarantee you that that will happen. But I also believe that the size of the margin tomorrow will not be a surprise. So the polls show 25 to 33 points. I'm always going to be conservative in my estimates. But more importantly, I want to set up the rest of the country to take a look at the fact okay. that South Carolinians have voted. North New Hampshire has done it. Iowa's done it. Nevada has done it. This race is over. It's time for Republicans to turn our attention towards Joe Biden to save America economically, to save America from chaos, and to save the world from issues in Ukraine, from conflict in the Middle East, and from aggression, China versus Taiwan. We need four more years of Donald Trump. Senator, um, I know that uh, you're endorsing him. We saw you sitting in the audience when uh, Laura Ingram had Trump on for that town hall or that rally town hall um, in Greenville. And he talked about the VP shortlist, and you were definitely one of the ones that was mentioned and he pointed you out in the audience. Has he talked to you about this? Would you accept it? Angela, he's not talked to me about it, but one of the things I've tried to do my entire career is to make sure that the mission is more important than any position I find myself in. And so my only goal is to make sure that Donald Trump gets four more years to prove to America that the best, brightest city on the Hill is under his leadership and that the world will respond positively to someone that they respect and have a little fear for. So I don't really think about Tim's sweeps. I think about Donald Trump being our president. Whatever it takes to make sure that's a reality, I want to be on that train. You know, Senator, you talk about uh, Donald Trump's ability to focus on the general, that this race is over, he should be able to focus on the general. Well, you know who's focused on the general big yes. time right now is Joe Biden. And he recently released another $1.2 billion in student loan relief, all with an eye toward young people saying, Harry, here's your money back. Come vote for us. Your reaction? Yeah. Well, there's no doubt that hundreds of thousands of folks received an email just a couple of days ago from Joe Biden saying, listen, I'm going to, to uh, absolve you of all your debt, student loan perspective, for one reason. The courts have already said it's unconstitutional. The Supreme Court has already ruled it is unconstitutional for Joe Biden to forgive student loan debt. He's going to do it in a tailored fashion, hoping to change the minds right. of millennials. This is a stunt for the general election. It's unbelievable mm -hmm. what we're seeing from this party. The, the Progressive Party continues to try to give away and send us towards socialism and then sell that as a general election strategy. Mm -hmm. Terrible. No doubt. Absolutely. Well, Senator Tim Scott, you're going to be a busy man for the next couple of days. Thanks for taking time for us. We Thanks appreciate for joining. It. Yeah, I know. I know. It, 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 it's, it's just it's sad. You're seeing a person just steady, just giving it all. And pretty much what you end up doing is saying to yourself, you know what, you got a little bit of heart, but it's, you're still going to lose. Like, I, I understand the heart you have in it. I understand that, you know, you're trying to, but this is not one of those little engine that could movements. This is not one of those, this, no, this is not going to be a Cinderella story. So just stop. Anyway, folks, I, I, I don't know. I, I just think that it's, it's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Now, what I do kind of agree with in here is what uh, Tim Scott said when he said he thinking it's going to be like a 20 point margin or something like that. You know, we got we're going to see once it all and once it's all said and done, Donald Trump, he goes around and he speak. He said they're winning by a lot. Da, 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 da. And uh, I think they had him like at 30 some plus points. Right. And then, like Tim Scott said, he think it's going to be by like 20. You know, he says I like to shoot low, which I understand that right there. But. Here's a question. What do you guys think? Do you think Trump is going to win by a lot in her home state? Or do you think her home state is going to show out for it? Do you think they're going to show up for it and support? Whatever the case may be, won't y'all let me know in the comments below after this video, all right? Do that for me. I want to see what y'all got to say on this. Don't forget to get in those cell phones. Let somebody know about this channel. Y'all are doing an awesome job with it. Contact list in your cell phone. Let one person know about this channel and encourage them to subscribe to this channel. Encourage them to leave me a comment telling me that you encourage them to subscribe to the channel. Shout out to the police officer. I'm not going to say your name. You know who you are. You got a lot of guys from the uh, police station onto the channel. I really appreciate that. And they did. I told them to tell you. Thank you. Y'all know who y'all are, all right? Anyway, folks, let's hear it, all right? Comment section. Let's go. I am Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, and clothing, most of all. I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.
what's going on everybody so hey check this out i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos do not forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also right here is where you can catch the next video the latest video that i've done but like right up here this is stuff that i've done kind of in the past so in this area you might find a video that i've done in the past it can be funny it can be something serious it does not matter but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that i do in my channel because i do a lot in this channel all right so again appreciate everything from you guys keep on watching it keep on supporting it and god bless you all